everybody, welcome to Brickvault, my name is Mike and this is The Simpsons House. We did this on a live stream that was a long one, so if you want to watch it you can check out the links below for the recording, but for uh, this video we're gonna do a review after this time lapse. Go! The set contains a number of accessories, awesome Simpsons minifigs of course, and exactly looking like cartoon version house uh, with that of course, plus Homer's car. The house uh, is all tan, so that's a good source for tan bricks uh, if you want to get this set. But let's go side by side with each and every feature and how we can take this thing apart. The cool thing is here that every single um, roof panel is uh, easily accessible, they just rest on top of uh, some tiles, so they fit very well, you can remove every each and one of them, and then you have access to every single room in the house. Plus, if you move forward, you can disconnect the garage, and this is the thing I don't really like, I'm gonna show you why in a second. But before you also do that, you can remove uh, the back section of the upper floor to access the lower floor as well. After that is done, you can also open the house, uh, which is held by joints uh, in the chimney area. So just take off the chimney and then you can open it up to have it split into halves. The mentioned uh, Technic pins connection is not very well designed uh, and here is why. Actually, when you push the garage into the house, there is so much tension and those walls are not very sturdy that you can accidentally and easily at the same time push out one of the walls and pretty much damage the whole structure. To prevent it, you have to actually hold the walls without the roofs being on top and make sure they connect without pushing any bricks forward. I think that's an area that can be easily modified by just removing uh, two pa a pair, a single pair of those Technic joints and replacing them with classic bricks. So, that's, uh, so that way the garage is just connected with uh, two um, joints instead of four. I think that would be much better for design and for the ease of taking this thing apart. And as we managed to finally disassemble the house, despite some problems with this garage connection, let's check out the garage itself. Well, a very simple thing. To be here we have some detailing with this landscaping in green on one of the sides and also nothing much to see outside except for this garage door that do open up. You can just grab this handle and there you go. It's all Technic inside so it's very nice Thing to have them popped open like that. The inside is very simple. Take down the roof like that and then you can see what's hiding inside. And the one more problem here is that this rack for tools, that's a Homer's rack of tools, is nicely placed on the jumper pieces but that also makes it very easy to pop off even if you just you know rattle the garage or just knock it off in a very easy fashion. Well that's not much of a bummer but it has to be um, taken care of carefully because all those tools are just right now rattling in the garage. You get a bunch of them and they don't really have spaces to go, just lay there without any connections. This rack has a few droid arms to hold on the drill and some oil uh, thingy and then there is some paint on the side and a small cabinet to hold the smaller tools. But there is not enough space to hold it all. Maybe the sink can hold it but not really, I tried it and they don't really fit inside. Uh, beyond that there is the workbench, the blue thingy, and that's also a small tool thing, Homer's uh, work box, the toolbox is there, and just a simple, maybe even an anvil or thing like that to, on the side. Nothing else beyond that in the garage, there is the broomstick, and everything else is just empty space. Well, to fit, of course, Simpsons car. The house, of course, looks very close to the show, thanks to some detailing that was taken straight from the cartoon. 
First, we have the windows in the front. They are using some special um, joint connections here to get this angle right. That's four windows on those uh, mirror builds right here. And it looks pretty awesome. There is the arc marking the door. The door does pop open. I think that's a special color made for the door for this set as well. Some detailing with the front porch stairs and some, uh, you know, foliage there. There is foliage on the side. You can see the chimney. You can see the joints that are making it possible to split open the house if you wish. And then all the windows are placed exactly as they're supposed to be. There is the back door, uh, access to the kitchen right there, some windows on the side. This is a great, great clever technique actually. This one here to build those windows sideways so they looked exactly like in the show. And one more cool Easter egg in this uh, thing here is the uh, AC unit. And this, if I can take it just real quick out, says property of Ned Flanders. Uh, first things first, we do get a lot of stickers in this set uh, saying property of Ned Flanders. And that's because Homer is constantly borrowing slash stealing things from Ned and he never um, brings them back. So even the AC unit is not really Simpsons and uh, that's a great Easter egg. Starting off with the first room, when you enter, you can see the um, light blue flooring and there is the piano in purple. That's uh, marking the first cartoony element of this set. A great little build, I like this a lot. There's a sticker for notes and also it comes with a small stool to sit on. This thing is easy to lose because it doesn't sit on anything. So be careful not to lose this part. I'm gonna go through full rooms. So the second part of this one is on the other side, of course. Uh, this is the famous living room. You can remove this rooftop to get more access to it. And then we have the famous couch, of course. That's the couch from every Simpsons intro. Looks like in the show, that's a, almost a studless build, like most of parts in this set. So there is this. Also, we have the vacuum cleaner that Maggie is riding quite often in the show. Also very simple. But nice looking build using this droid body. Then we have the TV right here. And guess what? what's on TV? This itchy and scratchy show. Of course, that's Bart's and Lisa's favorite cartoon in the show. This build is looking pretty good. Some nice studs on the side the techniques used here for this guy. You can see how the stairs are done. Also keeping it colorful. Uh, some people may think it's even a friend set with all the color palette included, but hey, it's Simpsons and they looked exactly like they supposed to. Then we have a small thingy here, a small cabinet with telephone and just a single drawer. That's also a nice addition to the living room. And then there is the rug right here. That's a sticker in the middle. So don't be fooled if it's a print, that's not. And there is also a sticker for this always present um, drawing of the boat that's just above the couch. And that would make for the most iconic place in the set, the living room, where we always see the Simpsons just hanging out in the couch. The kitchen also deserves its own spot, mainly because of the fact that you get a lot of accessories. Again, this is a bag of accessories you get in this set. They are all from the mostly Friends line, but there is plenty of space to put them in. You have a number of cupboards. You can see I put some cutlery in one of them. Um, in the drawer, there is a cupboard at the top. There is even the red mug in the corner and some uh, uh, snap connectors to hold the pan and the mixer, things like that. There is even a pan on the window. Just, I just put it there. That's, by the way, the front window you can see from the front of the house. And the second part of the kitchen is also right here. Also, there is a stove top, more drawers and uh, the exit to the backyard. I like the tiling with the tan and the light blue uh, pattern on the floor. And yep, you get the table with four great looking chairs. I like the builds for those studless completely. So that's excellent. And of course the color themed table to go with that. You can see the hot dog and we even get those clear um, fancy glasses with a cherry on the top. Moving to the top floor, we're gonna end up in Lisa's room. That's the first one on the left. And uh, yep, we have some cool furniture here. First, you remove this cabinet to uh, get access to the bed. And you can see how great of a technique was used here to create this stacked books. It doesn't look good from the back, but from the front, you can see the stacked books, the magnifying glass, some containers, very small, simple build that is uh, looking great. Also, there is the bed. So you can take this one off like that. There is the, um, the night lamp and a almost studless build. Just two studs can be visible on those drawers in orange. There is the red mug, of course, 
And one thing on this side as well is the Jazz Fest. That's Lisa's poster. She loves playing uh, saxophone and that was visible in the show many times as well. Great sticker. The second part of the room is on the far end of the building, of course. You can see her makeup stand or just a cabinet for her fancy makeups. There is this tool. Also, I'm missing this mirror sticker in silver. That'll be a great addition here. Uh, but this set was just uh, not having that yet. And also there is the stand for the camera that Lisa is using a lot. If you move to the left, there is the um, staircase exit. Right here, there are some posters, not posters, pictures. On the wall, there is Maggie and Grandpa Simpson. On the wall right there, exactly like in the show. And right next to it, you're probably gonna see access to Bart's room with the sticker Keep Out. We're gonna get into that in a second. Right next to the Lisa's room, there is the restroom. This door right here kind of looks like in the middle between rooms, you can pop it open and you can see how good a build of a toilet there is. There is a lot of stuff inside that you can see the use of the car door piece for the toilet paper. The sink is right next to it. And also we have a small build for the shower along with a clear brick showing the shower um, wall. I think it's great that they could have fit so much stuff in such a small room. It's just the hardest room to access. That is why I had to kind of pop the camera open to show you what's inside. Moving on, the upper corner room is uh, the Simpsons main bedroom. There is the bed. It's kind of a similar build to what we have in the Lisa's room. You can also take it apart uh, right from the build. It's fitting just exactly for the size of the room. Two jumpers in here to hold it. And there is the Marge's shopping bag on one of the sides and pretty much the same build for the drawers that we've seen in Lisa's room. You can pop it back on. You have to be careful to fit it. There you go, it fits just as snugly. And the other part is really cool because it's holding Maggie's crib. And this is one of my really favorite parts here. Uh, the crib is being held also on one jumper piece. Uh, build is, uh, again, almost studless, and I enjoyed the use of those ladder pieces in orange in sideway form. Maggie is uh, just fitting there um, exactly for her size, but I think, of course, it's not to scale. She's just a bit too big, but it's good that they made it so you can put the minifigure inside. That's it for the interiors, but we also get some external accessories with the set. There is the grill, and this one actually does open up and uh, again, studless, great looking thing. You can see the grill pieces actually used to their own name on a grill. It pops open. I just lost a sausage there, so you can pretty much grab it and get it some grilling action done right here. So that's nice. There is also this, the wheelbarrow from guess who? Property of Ned Flanders. I wonder who's that from. Anyway, we get that, some flower pots with that. There is the May box to go with that. It only sticks like that inside. There is no space inside of it. And that's gonna be pretty much it, maybe except for those small garden chairs. And again, great build. I was surprised how well they look, uh, given the fact that it's such a simple build. Uh, there is also one more big thing to go with the set. And this big thing is, of course, the Simpsons car or Homer's car, whatever you call it. It doesn't have a roof because, well, Marge has to fit it somewhere, you know, so her hair is sticking out. There is enough space for maybe three minifigs, but not really for the whole family. Uh, we have some studs in the front and some tiled area in the back to hold the minifigs. You can see Homer and Marge are pretty much fitting there nicely. The cool thing here is that there are some bumps on the side, exactly like you can see in the show for because Homer is constantly hitting things like trash cans and uh, things like that as we uh, you know watch the show. There is also the trunk in the back and guess what's in the trunk? You're right, that's gonna be the magic. Wait for it. Radioactive stick inside. That's the thing that jumps out um, from the trunk in the opening sequence for The Simpsons and is causing havoc along, you know, locations of the show. So that's a good uh, Easter egg. And I like this car a lot. I think it's great. But again, it looks like the Arkham Asylum car. That's the pretty much same type of design and also very close to what um, the car from the Quickie Mart set looks like. They went with that cartoonish road and I think that is uh, really fun. Six minifigures are included, the same amount that we had in the Quickie Mart. And of course, let's start off with Homer. 
Homer comes in his exclusive work outfit. There is his uh, badge from the power plant, also a tie we see in the show, and also a suitcase. I think that's my favorite version of Homer of all the minifigs. Marge comes in her household outfit with special printing for her eyes looking to the side, uh, also a shovel because she's working in the garden in the set, and this cloth piece for her apron. I like this fig a lot, but we also get a similar version of her in the collectible minifig series. Bart comes also with a special print to his eyes looking to the side. The torso and legs are pretty much the same in, uh, like in other Barts. His accessory is a skateboard and he also comes with the skate ramp with a special sticker saying El Barto. That's his alter ego in the show. Maggie has a special print for her entire body that's a mold of its own and also head that is very common to Lisa's with her pointy hair. Lisa is seen in her most common outfit in red with those pearls on her neck, also uh, straight looking eyes, and her accessory is just her paper with A plus grade, that's what we usually see on her in the show. And our favorite neighbor Reno, Ned Flanders, is coming with his exclusive print for the torso, that's an apron for barbecue, Hell to the chef. He comes with a spatula and also one of the best looking heads in all Simpsons line. I think I like this guy the most from the entire set. To sum this set up, of course it's an excellent set, great uh, details in the entire house, six awesome minifigs and a very well justified $200 price point makes this set pretty much a must for every Simpsons fan. Again, I'm so sad that LEGO did not go through with other sets from the Simpsons line. Those two, the Quickie Mart and the Simpsons house, are excellent and we could have seen so much more. If you're a fan, you should definitely get both. Alright, and that is it for this review. The Simpsons house is pretty awesome. Remember, if you enjoyed this review, please leave a like and subscribe. And you can also check out these videos if you want to see more cool stuff like that. My name is Mike and I'll see you again on Brick Vault. Oh, my God.